First, new information about evidence in a murder mystery. The killing of two Montgomery County honor students. The teens were shot to death while sitting in a car in Montgomery Village just one day before graduation. WJZ investigator Mike Helgen reports from their high school. He has the emotional interview with their parents. The family of victim Shadi Najjar says his cell phone was taken. They believe he's the person the killer was after. We miss him. We love him. We will never forget him, of course. He's always in our heart. The pain is still fresh for Adi Najjar, whose son Shadi was gunned down, murdered execution style in a hail of gunfire the day before his high school graduation. It happened in a quiet Montgomery County neighborhood miles from his home. 23 shots. It is a shots of hate. I keep asking myself this question over and over and over. Why was someone targeting my boy? Shadi's best friend, Artem Zibarov, was also murdered, but Adi believes the killer was targeting his son. He provided new information about what the killer took from the crime scene. They took only my son's phone, but they never took Artem's phone. Is it hate crime or someone jealous of him? Police have revealed little about motive in this mysterious and brutal crime that has stunned so many here. We see that a lot of our homicides, uh, there's connections between the victim and the suspects. Uh, so uh, uh, we're looking at everything about these two young men to see if, about finding that connection between them and a suspect. My son was just a child. He was just a child. Shadi's mother held her son's graduation picture tight. She has a message for the person who took him away from her. Say and tell them who did it. You know who did it. Someone bad, very bad. Najjar's family is now offering a $20,000 reward for any information leading to an arrest. At Northwest High in Germantown, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. Now police tell WJZ they have now interviewed more than 100 people in their investigation.